down to a little Manx farmhouse, Andy. Quarried stone, it's very substantial. Seems to have brick incorporated in various bits of it that yeah. you needed to build accurately, um, right from the word go. It's got some nice detailing still in the timber. Still got the timber surviving. Right. Must um, have had a, did have a porch or something yeah, at one so, time. Yeah, so they found that porches were an absolute necessity and sometimes they're not there originally, but they get added. As time yeah, goes on. As time goes on, mm. yeah. Let's pop inside. Okay. Main interior. Andy, I guess it's going to be a classic style. Is it four rooms or six rooms? What do you think originally? I think two on the ground floor and probably three upstairs. Right, so. Um, in, okay. the, in the main body of the There would be big rooms for um, an old farmhouse too, wouldn't they? Yeah, but then you've got to remember quite often quite a few children. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, be, yeah it so wouldn't be just one or two, would they'd it? Be, they'd be stacked up when it came to uh, bedtime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So looking here, we've got a, an old classic parlour fireplace. Would this be the good room, would you say? This would be the good room, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, it's, uh, it's this. What you often find with farmhouses is that the front door is actually offset slightly. Right. So, so the smaller half is the parlour oh, right. with, a, with a small fireplace. And then the bigger half is, is the, the range, kitchen. With the range is. And that's got the range. Well, it's got range in, in the later farmhouses or as they were later configured. But, but before that, what you had to accommodate was the big cholock. Yeah. So the fireplace was monumental. Oh, it's literally. So you needed the and room. So you needed the extra space. Mm. But yeah, you got this. Um, you got this. I mean, it's got this fabulous. Um, See, I, I, when you look at something like that, yeah, I know we, we talk about everything had a function and that's yeah. what they did. But this is this is just for style, isn't it? This is just for show. It is, yeah. So there was a bit of money in this place at one time. Yeah, there was. There was. You do find that there's quite a lot of these tile surrounds come into the island in the twenties and thirties. Right. Um, it's because apparently that's when it was last formed, was in that time scale. Oh, right, so okay. It may well, that, tie might, in. that might work. There were people yeah. living here afterwards, but not that's farming. That's right, yeah, 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 okay. So, yeah. And you've also got the um, fireplace in the bedroom as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and that in itself is a little sign of a, well, luxury is the wrong word, yeah. but you know, they, they, um, you didn't always get a fire in the bed space. Especially when you had a fireplace below. And That's right, you relied on, on that downstairs. sort of ambient heat. Yeah. So to have a fireplace in the upstairs room. The other thing I've noticed about these plates, this room, extreme height for a bedroom, isn't it? The size of it. That's right, yeah. I mean, you think about it, the, the, uh, you look at the window sills upstairs, they come down almost to floor level. Yeah. Literally about six inches off floor level. Yeah. Um, but even even against the eaves, you've probably got nearly six foot there, so would, you, would there you could have, stand. Would right there have been there. an attic in this house, you think, or would it have just been um, up to the eaves? It kind of looks as if it um, goes when, right the way yeah, up. Because it's um, ended right through, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah. I mean, that, that does surprise me a little bit. Um, yeah. There would have been room, wouldn't there? Because, you know, I mean, everybody needs storage. Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd think that maybe there would be a bit of a, a sort of roof space. So uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting detail. Yeah. Let's, let's have a look at the range. Yeah. So this is um, a classic range of its type. Not to put too fine a point on it, this was every housewife's dream, Absolutely. this kind of thing. Totally. Um, they would have the ability to put a kettle on that would be always, always on the boil, always on the boil, or, or very near to it. This would be the oven, or whatever it is. I take oven, away. oven, probably on on one side, and then I think a warming plate on the other. Yeah. With another smaller warming plate at the top that might even have, uh, um, you know, they 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 could have proved their bread near to yeah. this and all that kind of thing. And you've got the grate as well, it's still there. Yeah, yeah, the grate in the centre. So that would have been a. This, a roaring fire. The wood is around it. Would that have been put on when it was put in? Do you think? Yes, yeah. I mean, they'd have fared up this big opening with the brick. Um, and what you find, I mean, nowadays you can go into so many Thaltons and you'll find that, that many of the sort of regular openings, they're either three foot 
three foot six mm -hmm. or four foot wide, and they're designed to take a stove what, of that like size, this, a range of size. whatever, and you would come along, uh, you know, you'd actually sort of brick it up and say, right, I'm ready. Yeah, fetch, <laughs> fetch it along. Fetch it along from, well, whatever in our was. case, probably Ramsey, bring yeah. it out here and, and put it in. And then to finish it off, uh, a wooden uh, fire surround with a mantle on the top. Um, all the little pretty, pre pretty straightforward, yeah. And, and as you say, it would have been the the pride of place to display all the all the, the all rosy the bowls and all that, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you still got the 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 basic idea of one of these massive monumental chollocks, yeah. but but one that's been reduced to to, to, to accommodate, uh, accommodate this. Yeah, you, you can imagine, can't you? In the years gone by, when it would be howling, they'd be sitting around all the family. What you also also can see is though is that, again for purposes of, of, of uh, storage, that there would have been built-in cupboards you can just see the, to either the side. Wood remnants you can there, still you? see just the remnants of those. And of course, being near the fireplace, it would keep things aired or yeah. dried, so they yeah. clothes or whatever kept That's in right, there. Yeah. And we move through into the, was it an annex you'd call that? Uh, well, I always think of it as the cat, cat slide. Well, it's cat under slide. it's under a cat slide roof. Right. This this area would be used for for a number of purposes, depending on individual farms um, and, 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 and change over the time. And it, and it would change through time. Yeah, exactly. So, um, I think the way that this building functioned originally was that there was a small stair turret protruding from the back of the house right and that there would be a little dog leg staircase that would go up onto a half landing turn through 180 degrees back up into the main body of the house for whatever reason they need more accommodation and so they build this extension on the back and it's got a straight joint the main part of yeah. the house there and it's got a straight joint just behind you so would this have been built uh, quite a while after, or do you think a similar time? Or I think the original house is probably going to have been here for getting on for for two hundred years. Right. Perhaps not quite two hundred years, but maybe early Victorian, and then and then this addition on the back comes along, maybe in the in, in the second half of of the eighteen seventy something. Yeah, something like which that. Which would explain because it was sold around about that time. Supported by a new owner in the 1870s. You can see new just in the floor just way. in the plaster here, you can see where the stairs came up, or the, the, the skirting board at the side of the staircase. So this new new stair turret was put on the back with a room to one side of it. Yeah. So you come up and you've got the uh, again a half landing here. Can you see the floor you joist the behind you? Joist you? holes, yeah, here and here. Um, with a nice big window, so yeah. more light coming in from the south, south. side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then you'd go up the stairs from here. You'd have a room at first floor level. This is written here above above this area that may have been the scullery or something yeah. like that. And then you'd get onto a landing, and you'd have probably three bedrooms. Because there'd in be a the, room in the, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, above the yes, stairs, above the front door. Yeah, yeah. this is the. Um, what did you call it? A scull we think it's a scullery? I think possibly a scullery. Um, and it might have been where they did some laundry. There might have been a, a copper in there where they'd have heated their water. As a feature, this is just fabulous. It is, isn't it? Really? Absolutely fabulous. And all the Thorntons I've ever been in in the last few years, I've never seen another one no. like that. And have it in no. a corner as well. I've seen, I've seen them in corners, but I've never seen them built out of brick like no, this. No, no. Yeah. Would yeah. these be Manx bricks, these would they be? They are. They're all um, fairly characteristic of, of uh, several of the brickworks that were in the north of the island. Right. Um, they're, they're not red enough to be Balakori, um, but I'm, I'm wondering about some of the brickworks up around Regaby. I quite like the idea that there's, there's a big pan in there yeah. and you put the fire underneath and you draw the water off as you need it. Yeah. Um, and, and it was as, as simple as that. The 
other thing I suppose, of course, that we should say with all of this that's intrigued us is that this house is built into the hillside. Yeah. And maybe that was the source of some of the stone. Mm. Um, but also, of course, what they've done is they've uh, they've realised that that uh, you know if they just built in that they would you know, they have terrible damp trouble. Yeah. But they've actually the the space between the yes, end of the house dug around and, outside and, and, and the hillside. Keep it down, haven't they? So so it's set in. It's well sheltered. Oh, yeah. um, but it's uh, it's nevertheless they've they've not given themselves undue problems by by having rising damp and no, so on. No. Just want to talk about these boulders here. Do you think these would be actually dug out of the ground from here or just found? What do you think? I think they're found. Do you? Yeah. They're for the most part, they're boulders. Right. You know, they're not sort of quarried. They're not, uh, you know, they, they've not got that sharpness that the barn... So what they've done is they've just used these as a base. Yeah. So this wouldn't really have any foundations as such as house. But no. This would be it. I think they did little more than simply put them on the ground where they wanted them. They might have put clay or mortar in, in, a, in between them just to sort of hopefully hold them together. And then off they went. Off they went. And the sad thing is that though that, though that is perfectly acceptable from the, for the sort of um, quality of build that they wanted at the time, 150, 200 years later, and you know, this is why so many of our fabulous Thaltons are you know, they're really starting to go now. Uh, well, um, as, as you and I talked about this morning, we've come over here today, but in 30 years' time, this won't. It be, won't, uh, you know, you've got cracks, cracks in, everywhere, isn't cracks it? in the gable. This is sadly, it is such a shame that the well, there's so little to preserve them, isn't it? I don't know what can be done. It's very, very difficult. You know, you take the roof off any of these structures and they suddenly become really vulnerable. I think one of the great virtues about the Manx Thaltons is that, you know, they don't have render on them. Okay, they don't have roofs very often and lots of other bits have gone. But without that render, without that skin, you can actually see the development history of these buildings how, how through trans, time, how, how they've forward. been changed and so on. And yeah. that's... And that informs us about the buildings that have still got their skin on, you know, and, and so on. You, you know, we, we, can, we can learn from these. We can see where Manx vernacular architecture comes from yeah. and how it's then translated into, you know, the later Victorian, the Edwardian and then the 20th century. Building. It's where it's, it's where it started. Yeah, that's right.